What's up guys, Slight Nasty here and welcome to part two of my TDM breakdown. We'll be covering the map Convoy. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, it was for a hotel and the link will be in the description so go check that out if you haven't seen it. But let's get things started, let's not waste no time and get into it, so here we go. Okay, first things first, here's the overhead view of the map. You have two spawns like normal on Team Deathmatch. Uh, on each side of the map you spawn, I labeled it container yard and gas station. Uh, that's how I taught my teammates during the game and you know let them know when where the spawns are, you know, if they flipped or whatever. But the red stars, that is the different spawns on this map. There's seven total. Uh, I don't think I missed one. I, I watched it and, and you know these are where people were spawning. The spawns on this map aren't anything like hotel. You know, hotel had it pretty much had one or two spawns that you could count on people spawning at. Well, on this map, it really depends on where your teammates are at. Uh, the spawns flip constantly while you're playing, so it's hard to determine exactly where they're at. But you can look on the map and tell where your teammates are, and, and they're usually going to spawn behind you. But I have a Team Deathmatch game that I had. Um, it's a pretty good game, but I'm going to show it to you, and I'm going to talk about it, and we'll go from there. This is a TDM game that me and uh, Straight Nasty and I think Slash Nasty was in. But the way I'm going right here, this is how I like to start from both sides. I don't hardly ever go, you can go through the diner or through the middle or through the park on the other side, but I really don't like going that way. If I spawn gas station or container yard, this is usually the way that I go. And uh, I don't have a reason, I just, I don't know, I just. There's certain things I do for each map, and um, you know it always works out for the best. But um, I'll be using suppressed commando, and my perks are ninja, hardened pro, and flight jacket. No scavenger. Sorry, I got scavenger on. And um, like I said, it's a pretty good game. All I do is uh, I just make circles around the map pretty much. And I, I know where the spawns are, so I can kind of keep my eyes out on, you know, where my where my teammates are and where the enemy are spawning. But um, I just try to stay ahead of my team. If you want kills in a team deathmatch game, the best thing to do is stay away from your teammates. Um, well, really, that goes for any kind of uh, game type. But in team deathmatch games, it it really pays off because usually where your teammates are at, they they're facing the enemy, and you can usually flank them and come back. Um, behind them. Now, here I kill these two guys, and what I know, my teammates are all on the other side. So, guess what? Those are the same two guys that I just killed. As soon as I killed them there, I seen that my teammates were over on the other side of the map, so I know that they would have to be spawning behind me. And that just goes to show you three easy kills, um, and two of the guys were the same two guys I killed in that window, and the one guy running up the stairs. Now, the kill streaks I have set are Blackbird, Chopper Gunner, and Dogs. Um, that's a really good kill streak setup for if you want like a high KD on this map. Uh, the Chopper Gunner pays off, and the Dogs pay off pay off pretty good. But um, right here, my team are, is scattered pretty much, so it's really hard to tell exactly where the enemy are spawning. Luckily, we have a UAV, and I can tell they're over at the diner side. When the enemy are spawning at the diner. Um, the best way that I find to head around and you know cut them off is through this park. Um, I really don't like going, you know, down the freeway or up in the middle because people like to go sit up on these bridges and they'll just sit there constantly and just pick you off. Uh, so if they're spawning the diner, diner side, this is the best way to get around to them. Uh, come fling all the way around to the right, just like I did, and come through these buildings. And here you see I pick up a, you know, one or two kills. There I get my blackbird calling in. I notice this guy up here. And uh, I have Harden Pro on, like I said. And uh, I get this guy through the wall. Now, Harden Pro makes it a little easier to uh, penetrate the wall. But in this game, pretty much every gun can penetrate through walls pretty easy. Um, now, for some reason, I don't know why, but you can't shoot through like a stairwell case or like a, like a stair railing. I have no idea why that why it does that, but on Harden Pro, the reason I'm using that is for the Pro variant. Um, if you don't know what Harden Pro does, it causes your it causes your character not to flinch as much when getting shot. And in this game, you know, gun on gun, your bullets, how many bullets you get in your enemy is what matters. 
and um, you know not flinching and being able to keep your gun on you know steady on the guy the whole time is is really helpful and uh, they're almost mess up I totally ignored the two there's two spawns over there at the gas station and uh, I ignored those and almost almost got killed but I, I, luckily I picked up both of those guys and uh, really I got my puppies and my chopper gunner and uh, you know I'm running around trying to clear out the area before I lay down and try to call them a chopper gunner um, I really don't know where the enemy's at at this time I know they're they probably over at the at the park area but uh, call them my puppies go to call them a chopper gunner and I was like oh my god who in the hell is using an attack helicopter let me tell you guys man if you're playing with the party like people you know or pretty much all the time don't use a attack helicopter especially if somebody on your team has chopper gunner I mean the, that's just so aggravating whenever somebody calls on a tie helicopter and you got a chopper gunner and you can't call them because that stupid ass helicopter is in, in the air but you know that's just a little fact don't use a tight helicopter if you're playing with a full team um, you know people will get angry <laughs> but I tried to lay down again and call it in but I seen this guy in the window and I uh, come over here to get him but my puppies rape him the tight helicopter is finally out of there, so I can lay down and call him a chopper gunner. Now I cut this the chopper gunner out, but on the original video that's uploaded on my channel, I have like a, a cinematic with the song and everything. It's pretty badass, but had copyrighted music, so LG wouldn't allow that. They wouldn't post that. But I messed up, didn't get the final kill here. Uh, too bad because I went 32-0, and, and the final kill cam would have just tapped it all off. But um, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you play Convoy, a uh, bulletproof game, 32-0. As always, peace. Follow us on Twitter, where you'll be notified of every video that we upload to YouTube, plus you'll be notified when we're online gaming. Send us a message and we'll send you an invite.